Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Crackman, and uh, what we're going to do this time through is we're going to make a mushroom cloud. And we're going to do that by uh, way of getting to know our old school volumetric clouds. Now if you go into your uh, clouds tab, let's go to old volumetric cloud, drop it in the scene, and you notice that there's a very minimal interface right here. That's actually kind of a good thing in this case. Um, you just have very limited options tweak them around a little bit and you'll get a cool looking cloud result. One of the things about this old school uh, cloud is it isn't made to be by itself to be used as a cloud. And uh, it took a couple of versions of uh, Raydream to, or not Raydream, uh, first version of Carrera to figure that out. So, um, Anyway, uh, here's all your different options and if you r do a render, oh, let's zoom in on this a little bit do a render this is your this is what you have let's uh we don't want to play in this too long cuz it's a lot left to cover but um kind of tweak these around a little bit and you have nice little holes nice little uh, areas of blending let's go ahead and make that make our size 8 so that's just a little flat and let's do an ellipsoid there we go. There. And that's pretty much what we're going to use as our as the basis for our mushroom cloud. Um, what we want to do is we want to kind of simulate that there's a uh, light coming from the bottom. So let's go ahead and change the colors on this. Now that's this is one of the this is one of the things the drawbacks of this particular um, object is uh, it doesn't accept light and that's kind of a biggie in 3D but uh, it will let you um, it will let you simulate light Let's see what we got so far and you notice how uh, it it's gotten uh, down to brown here let's make it yellow Pow. Pow. There we go. That's more like that. And this is just a little too dark. Let's make it kind of a darker orange or brown. Let's make that yellow. And there you go. That's that's basically what we want. Now you see how the light's hitting right here? What you can do, and it's kind of a, is uh, flip it around. And now the light comes from the bottom. Now, let's go ahead and do our uh, mushroom cloud. Let's go into Vertex Modeler, drop that in there, jump to the modeler itself. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, point to front. And the recording process is is going to jack this up but just bear with me we're going to be making points here make sure that your grids turned on snap to grid okay and since I'm flying blind let's find a nice uh, place on the grid to start click here 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 here, here here and you notice where the the when the cursor changes click that push enter and now our profile has been drawn this isn't going to be good by any means because uh, couldn't really see what's going on here but it'll work so let's go ahead and uh, click this double click and let's do a lathe click the lathe and then click the point you want to lathe on that's why we wanted the grid turned on and then hit that so there we go hit that pow select all select all zoom in and uh, we're good to go. Let's uh, just 
click this and then click this we don't need it anymore delete it put this guy back in place let's take a look at what we got uh, there we go and that's cool that'll work it's not uh, it's not a perfect shape but it doesn't need to be we just need an outline for our uh, volumetric clouds to be drawn on now here comes the here comes the intensive part so um, by the time we get to rendering this thing we're gonna cut this off and then we're gonna jump into the, the second half of this but uh, Let's go ahead and uh, drop a surface replicator in here. And jump into the surface replicator. Let's choose an object. We're going to choose, choose the vertex object. Let's add our old volumetric clouds. And you see how they're starting to be, uh, starting to be, uh, go around it. Let's go ahead and uh, make the minimum distance between objects 0.5. And they're closer together, really closer together. They're like inside each other. Let's bump the number of objects up, but not too much because we're going to do a pre-render on this. Um, let's do a best distribution. Distribution. It kind of gets everything right there. And let's do a random scale of. Well, let's go ahead and render this first, and let's see what we got. And that looks very chintzy, I know, but. Um, you notice how uh, they're starting to go around there. Let's uh, let's do a random scale of 100%. And let's see what it looks like now. See how it's starting to feather into itself. That's kind of what we want. We don't want to see the vertex object though. Let's go ahead and make that invisible. and then you can start to see how uh, a lot more of these will start leading to the effect that you want so uh, anyway I'm gonna cut it off right here and we're gonna finish up on the other side so that's it for this part of the tutorial I'm Kreitman and I'll talk to you again later